Hello, Virtual Academy. I am so excited for this week. We are going to be making virtual Valentines um, and we are going to share them in a Google slide deck so that everyone um, can kind of see a special Valentine um, during this special month of February. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So I am going to share my screen. I will um, provide the links for where you need to go to so that you don't have to um, type all of this in, but I will be typing it in just to kind of show you where we're going. So um, hopefully you can see my screen. So we are going to go to Adobe Spark. So it's spark.adobe adobe.com and you will be signing in with your Google account so it sometimes takes a little bit to load with Adobe Spark because there's a lot going on here so um, if it asks you to log in I can see right now I'm gonna log out to show you that process of what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and hit sign out so you can see what it looks like so we're gonna continue with Google and select your Forest Hills Gmail. And then I don't think this shows up for students, but because I'm a teacher, I have to click Enterprise ID. I don't know if you will have to do that or not. Okay, so we are going to create a Valentine. Um, and so I don't remember. If I search Valentine, there are some suggestions. So you can look at the free Valentine's templates or you can create your own. So I am going to start here at the plus sign. I am going to create a custom size graphic. And it does take a minute to load some things on Adobe Spark. So you just have to be patient. Take a few deep breaths while you're waiting. It's always a good thing. Let's see, why are we not loading? I'll just refresh my screen. See if it'll let us go. There we go. So I am just going to do um, a standard and square. And then click next. You can adjust it however you like. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to look for a background and I'm just gonna look for Valentine first and see what pops up. So I've got lots of different choices here. I think though, I want to look for a heart because when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of a heart. Hmm, let's see. Keep going. Um, I saw an image before of a heart balloon. So let's see if it pops up. Ooh, that's cute. I'm not seeing exactly what I wanted. Do, 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 do. Wonder if it would be in backgrounds instead of templates. So you notice over here on the left hand side. So I'm gonna search for heart again. Ooh, these are cool. Those are really cool. We could do all kinds of cool things with that, but I'm gonna do balloon and see if I get what I wanted. Hmm. Let me just search balloon and see if I get it. Hmm. Maybe what I saw before when I was playing with this. I don't know what this one is. It's a library. Maybe it's under a photo. Let me do find free photos. Oh, I bet it's here. Let's see. Aha. This looks more like what I was looking for before. So there's lots of ways to search here. I like this one. So I'm going to insert it. You just click on it to insert. And then you can stretch it to be the size that you want oops perfect okay so now i'm ready to add some text and i am going to choose Ooh, that's cute and you just kind of go through find what you like you can customize your text 
And I am going to change this to say, you make my heart pop. And click done. And now, I don't know, I might want to stretch this a little bit. And then we've got this guy, and I don't like that color. So I'm going to change the color. And I think I want to try and make it more of like reddish pink. That's probably okay. And I'm going to move it over a little bit. There we go. Let's see how it looks. You make my heart pop. I want to change this font. I like the color. I like that pink. Oops, done. I just need to go over here to the font. And you'll see it's all just about picking what you think looks good. I'm, ooh, what's this pop look like? Ooh, that's not thick enough. I need a much thicker um, font. What does that look like? Mm. Bold? That's okay. Let's see, what else do I see? Ooh, sketch. Now, if I play with this, I can change my font size to be a little larger. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. I can also drag to make it larger. And then if I want my text color to really pop off the page, I just change it. Now there's some really cool things we can do with the shadow. So we can make the shadow color match the balloons or the other words that we've used. So you make my heart pop. And then you can also add an outline. Oh, but I don't like at all how that outline looks. So I just uncheck it to get rid of it. And you know this icon, I like it, but it's, there we go. I'm thinking that, that fills my space a little bit nicer. So you make my heart pop, but this is a Valentine and it needs to say Valentine's Day. So as I scroll down, I really love this circle here. So I'm going to move it down into the corner and you'll notice white is not a good choice here. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm going to um, put, ha oops, happy Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to type in from Mrs. Holtkamp. Now, you don't have to use the same design I do. You can make it your own. Make them fun. You want them all to be unique, just like you. Awesome. Okay, so the font, first of all, needs to be adjusted so that it's something that's going to stand out. Ooh. Nope, doesn't stand out enough. That one's okay. So again, it's just all about go looking, going through, and finding what you like, finding what catches your eye. That I like. Okay, so now, oops, I want to edit this a little bit more. Um, I want to make sure that the color, oh, here's my color, sorry. Um, maybe this greenish color might work oh no that's too close to the background so that would work and then the shadow color you could do the white i'm gonna zoom in and see how it looks that looks nice i think that looks okay and then i want to put a little heart inside here for valentine's day so i'm gonna go to icons that's a square i want a heart icon and I'm gonna go just with this little heart in here. Oops, maybe I just click it. Oh, there we go, we click it. I'm going to adjust the size first off, and then I'm going to, oops. Control Z is your best friend, because if you make a mistake or you drag the wrong thing, uh-oh. I'm having a hard time getting my icon. There, we got it. Now it's moving. 
Control Z will undo any action. Um, okay, so now I want to move this back up a little bit. Center it up. I like that. I think this part needs to be. Oh, cancel. Hmm. Well, I would have to maybe move it to the back. So I would have to layer it and I want to move it down one. So that maybe I can. Oh, you know what? I was doing that all wrong. Okay, so here's what I can do. Ah, there we go. I can make it smaller. Then I can change the layer order. And then I can hopefully click here and change my layer order again. Bring that back up. Control C. Oops. There we go. Now it's all back. <laughs> so you're just playing with it, adjusting, um, making it look the way you want. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click download. Download it as a PNG and just click start download. Um, you want it to be solid color. You can also do a JPEG. Doesn't matter. You can pick whatever type of file download you want. So it should be downloading up. Oh, yep. See where it says my post.png. If I had renamed my project. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Whole Camp. What are you doing? Um, I could just call it Valentine. Then it would have been named Valentine. Much easier to find. Then what you will see is you are going to see a slide for our virtual Valentines. And so I'm actually creating the slide deck right as I am making this video for you because I want to put my virtual Valentine right in here. So it's the first thing you see when you open it up. So I'm going to title this virtual Valentine's. Okay, and then I'm going to insert my image. I'm not sure if it'll work this way for you. I can click and drag because I'm on a PC, but you just click insert image and then upload. And uh, there it is, my post. And I'm going to pop it in. And there is my our first virtual Valentine. Um, and then I will just add several blank. Um, oops, I want it to be blank. Um, several blank slides and you can pop in your Valentine and then hopefully on Valentine's Day you can open this up and take a look at all of the fun Valentines. The only thing I'm going to ask and I'm sure you already know what I'm about to say, please make sure that your Valentine is school appropriate and would be safe for any eyes that look at it. I hope you are having a fantastic week. I cannot wait to see what Valentines we create. I We'll see you next time.